Hi. We're going to see if this works. I haven't done this in a long time. And there's a creeper. Hello, creeper. Just blow up there, will ya? Okay. Hi, guys. I'm good. Let me know if the audio quality is alright. Let me know if the music's too loud. In fact, I think the music is too loud. I'm going to down it even more. Oops. Music's fun, but you got to be able to hear me, right? Okay, so the reason I haven't streamed in a long time is because I was using this old wireless adapter that I've had for like literally 10 years and it was outdated and it didn't do very good at streaming. Just got a brand new wireless adapter that's supposed to be really fast and it more than doubled my upload speed. So we'll find out how well this does. And I gotta remember what I was even doing. Building the house, right? Oh gosh. Sometimes it's hard to pick up where you left off. I gotta go look at it and see what I remember. Oh, the other thing that changed is I also got more RAM. My computer used to be 16 gigabytes of RAM, but I was actually able to find a pretty good deal. And uh, I got, I doubled my RAM, so I'm actually at 32 gigabytes of RAM. And it allowed me to increase the resolution of this texture pack. So it should look pretty good. Okay. Chapati Hindustani Gamer Fan Club shout out. Shout out to you, man. Good to see ya. Good to have you here. So I'm streaming on this channel. I'm wondering if I should stream on my Creepy Pasta channel as well. Do like a Creepy Pasta survival or something. Oh gosh. Maybe stream me building one of my Creepy Pasta sets or something. Okay, well, I was obviously putting the roof in. Oops. You know, pretty much any time I use Minecraft, it's just for filming. And so, like, my skills as a Minecraft player are really diminished in a way, you know. But um, with this world, because 1.18 update is supposed to be quite different, I have a feeling that this series or this season will end quite abruptly as soon as the new update comes out. <clears throat> Which is kind of sad because that would mean that this world I won't keep. Well, I mean, I'll keep it in an archive, use it for making movies every now and then, but I won't actually play it, you know. I also need to get a new headset. Because the headset I got is cheap. I mean, I have a nice microphone, but then it creates an echo if I use the regular speakers. That gets kind of annoying. So I need a good quality headset. And Cabby, hola, how are you? I am very good. A bit rusty. That's about the size of it. I would say it's quite right. I'm, I'm kind of rusty here. Oops. Oh gosh. Sometimes it's hard just to adjust to a texture pack. Maybe once the new update comes out, instead of building a country house or a cabin, maybe I'll build a modern house. Modern houses are fun to make. They're one of the funnest to make. However, they're actually one of my least favorite to actually live in. I'm kind of a country cabin person myself. Not that I live one one real life, I don't, but boy if I could, it'd be fun to have a cabin. 
How do I know all the stuff about Minecraft? All the stuff. Uh, just all the time that I spent with it. I just, you know, just like anything with experience, you learn a little here and a little there, and eventually it really adds up. I was using spruce wood, wasn't I? That was spruce wood. Must have been. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. Raz Gaming, hi! Good to see ya. Small ones. Small ones are quite efficient. And it's a lot easier to not lose things in small houses. <laughs> video on how to safely zombify villages. I should, shouldn't I? I kind of have a video on that, but I can go over it. For me, when I go to zombify or de-zombify a village, I guess. How to zombify villagers. Oh, how to turn them into zombies, maybe? Oh. You know, I think that's something I actually need to learn myself. How to de-zombify and make them safe for zombies. You know, I can usually just build a, a border around it, a big wall, then torch up the place, but if you're trying to turn them into zombies. You know, that's not something I have a whole lot of experience with. I think I'd need to do some testing there before I made a video on it. That's for sure. Ooh, that's going to have one deep, deep roof here. And just like that, I've run out again. And it's going to be nighttime soon, probably. Do I have a bed in here? I forgot if I saw one. Nope. I don't have a bed on me either. That's kind of an oversight. Pretty sure this is the spawn point, so... No problem. Oh, wait. Bed, bed, bed. I put it in here, didn't I? Look at my chicken coop. Oh, it's very bright. <laughs> that bed. Okay. Bed's in the chicken coop. Okay, so what I'm making right now is my spruce country cabin using different series of gables. My two favorite house designs are gable and gambrel. In real life, ga or gables are cheaper and stronger, but gambrel and, uh, makes it so it's more spacious inside. The shader is SUS, S E U S P T G I 12. I'm not currently a patron anymore, so I don't have any of the newer updated versions. Maybe I should go look, and if he does, become a patron again and get the updated version. Because so I just did what he said, you know, patron versus for a little bit just to get one pack, you know. Oh, hello. So I'll pick up a little there. Piece of cake. Anyways, back to work. Oh, creeper. Hello, creeper. Maybe you I will kill. Oh. I, I didn't do that right, did I? Oh! <laughs> a little delay. He almost, he almost blew up there on me. Boy, I'm losing my skills here.
Hooey, I gotta fill in a, do a lot of filling in, don't I? Oops. <laughs> yeah. I'm not the brightest person every now and then. Every now and then I do dumb things. Or just don't do them well. But, well, oh well. Bruce would. And I gotta go put away everything in my inventory. Ah, whoops. Oh, I heard a skeleton. Oh, you think you're that cool, huh? Okay, yep, you guys kill each other. Goodbye. I thought I even care. shaders for free. Hmm. Or if you're looking for something that has ray tracing, I don't know of any shader like that. Otherwise, you know, Seuss non-ray trading shaders are free. And those are some of the best. Um, oh, the best shader. What? What is it? Uh, Project Luminara. If you're looking for a hyper-realistic shader, it's free. I'm pretty sure Project Luminara is what it's called. I've used it a couple times in some of my videos my recent uh, videos I've done. And the thing that's different about it versus any other shader is when you increase the brightness level from moody to higher, it actually changes the shader's brightness level as well. I don't know a single other shader that actually does that. So Project Luminara is actually one of my absolute favorites. Um, let's see. Trees. Oh, yeah, I just, of course. Let's see, I don't need all that dirt. Oh yeah. yeah. Put you away. I meant to put you away. Let's go put away. I don't have a food chest. Yes. Don't need any of that acacia wood, so I'll put that away. I haven't made my other wood chest yet. Oh well. Oh, spruce. Good. Because I need more stairs. In fact, I don't have any sitting here, do I? Yes, I do. I'll take them. And one just in case of that. Great. Let's go down here. Tag Othman says friend of his committed suicide. I'm really sorry to hear that. That was one of the hardest things. Really sorry to hear that. How do you spell the shader? Luminara shader? Yeah, you spelled it just right. Um, but it's called Project Luminara. Um, I wonder if I can find a link to that. See if I can find the one that I got. Was it from there? No, I don't think it was from there. Nope, that wasn't it. Hmm. could I have gotten it? Oh, I think I might be able to find it. Okay. Um, let's go here. This is pretty big deal. The Project Luminara shader. Uh, let's see. Um, and there's... Where is it? Where is it? It's one of these... If only I can remember. I'm 
really having a hard time remembering here. Wasn't it? No, that wasn't it. Where else would it be? Oh, it's probably in here. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I found it. Yep, there it is. Oh, this is Project Lumina. When you download it, it says Luminara, but this here is Project Lumina. Okay. Okay. I've got it. the link in the, the chat. That should take you right to it. Yeah, okay. Got it. Project Lumina. I thought it was Luminara. Maybe, I, maybe my brain's terrible. But yeah, that shader is amazing. And I just love how it, the brightness level actually adjusts with it. It's one of the only shaders I know of that you can actually turn it up and you can actually see at night with the shader and be, like, not annoying. The only reason I don't use it now is because it doesn't have uh, the ray tracing capabilities. But it does work on older versions of Minecraft, whereas this one doesn't. So I actually use Project Lumina a lot in versions 1.12.2 um, for my videos because that, I think 1.12.2 is the best for making machinimas the mods you can use. And I would highly suggest if you're making machinimas to try out Project Lumina. Luma. Is it, is it Project Luma, I guess? It's pretty wonderful. Get my GTX 1650 i5, handle it. Most likely it'll do just fine. I haven't actually tested it on that level computer. I just assume that it'll do fine. But if you're using it with, you know, a newer version of Minecraft or the latest Optifine, you can go change settings in it to make it run a lot faster. If you need to. Did I just finish the roof? Yes, I did. I was sitting there doing it without even thinking about it. Okay. Well, so I have two choices. I can either put in another floor or leave it open concept like this. So it's a wide, tall, tall roof. Um, just because I love um, being up there so I can look out the window, I think I'm actually going to fill it in. If this were real life, that would just be an attic. And that might be what I do this time as well. So I might as well just keep my staircase. Alright, okay. There we go. And then it just keeps on going. Just keep the staircase. Oops, didn't mean to do that. You need a terminator of computer? Like well my computer is pretty fast. So I mean my my computer I I used for like ten years doing Minecraft stuff before this was not a very fast computer. And I still able to, to do things with it. I used it for my Undead City, and I used the SUS or what was it, 10.1 shaders back then. SUS 10.1 is pretty decent. If you want to save a little bit on your performance. Of course, if you want a shader that runs really fast, what was it, Chocopic Light 13 is my favorite. Yeah, so Chocopic Choke a pick light 13. That or was it choke a pick 13 light? <laughs> How you whatever order that is. That's that's what I like. Oh, it's gonna be dark soon. Wow, suddenly I just feel like I saw a lot of pretty color there. And I'm hungry. Time to go to bed. Ouch to the chicken coop. Who wants to go to the chicken coop? 
So for the longest time, Stinger Productions has been my major channel, my biggest channel, you know, more than 80,000 subscribers right now. That is going to change very soon, in case anyone's wondering. Probably within the next five or six months, Stinger Productions will no longer be my biggest channel. And by the way, yes, this is the pa Patrick's Texture Pack, which I also had to become a patron of to get. Um, anyways, my new channel is called Ray Gloom Creepypasta. It used to be the Ray Zone. But I've told this to some people before, because um, I was in the hot, or, you know, I went to the hospital and had surgery back in August, and it took me to September to recover. And since I was kind of, you know, in bed and not really able to do hardly anything, I spent a lot of time learning and stuff on the laptop. Realized that, um,. that all of my subscribers, even though I had only a few videos on it, were coming from Minecraft Creepypastas. So I made a, a huge pivot and started doing Minecraft Creepypastas and in less than a month and a half I got it to the point where it was doing like four times what Stinger Productions is doing. So Stinger Productions averages at the moment, you know, like 60 to 70 subscribers a day. My rig on Creepypasta is somewhere between six and 700 subscribers per day. Pretty crazy, right? That's the power of pivot. But the thing is, Stinger Productions is like what got me where I am today. Yeah, I'll never abandon Stinger Productions. Even if people stop watching my videos on this channel, I just don't think I'll ever abandon it. Or ever stop, because... Because it's, you know... It's where, it's where I started. It's where I got everything to where I am now. It's the main channels for me still. You know, Raiden Gloom can be like at a million subscribers, and Stinker Productions not even at a hundred thousand. I still think Stinker Productions to me would st still be my main channel. And the stuff I enjoy the most actually happens on Stinger Productions. My most favorite thing in Minecraft ever, in Minecraft, on YouTube, and everything. Number one, full-length Minecraft movies. That's number one. If I had to give up everything and I could only do one thing, it would be making full-length Minecraft movies. And those are the things I'm the most proud of. Um, someone had a question. Are many books still obtainable by fishing? Yes, they are. Is it the best way to get it in the long run? No. I think fishing is the best way to get many books when you first start out and you just need a few. But otherwise, the, really the best way to get mending books is, of course, by making a mending villager having him trade to you. Okay, I'm going to now show you how to do attic windows. Now you first have to fill in spots where all the stairs are. You don't want to leave any of them open. While I'm doing this, I might as well do this as a tutorial, right? Okay, just filling them all in. And then it's up to you whether or not you want to leave the floorboards on or not. Me, I'm not going to. I'm just going to fill them in. Sometimes when you have a, a small gable right here, it's better not to fill in the window. Actually, it really is. That's. I need to have that window to be more visible from the outside. I'm not going to fill it in. But I will fill in a floorboard, baseboard right here. And on both sides. Stingray Productions, why don't you have more subs? I can actually tell you exactly why I don't have more subs and exactly what prevents my channel from growing well. It's actually really simple and really obvious. Uh, not being niche specific. And that's actually... That's it. That's right there. I just told you why my channel isn't bigger. It's because I do too many... I mean, back in the day, you could be grow pretty easily without being niche specific, and it still is possible now. But it's much harder if you're not very specific in the niche of what you're doing. Stinger Productions, I'm not because I first started out with machinimas, did some full-length movies, then I started doing tutorials and cinematics, and it's just, you know, now survival gameplay, it's just all over the place. And people don't like to subscribe to that because they subscribe typically to watch one thing, either to watch a tutorial or they want to watch just the movie. Um, but only a very few handful of people, which is typically you people, 
are people who are actually you know the really loyal dedicated people who are about the person and will watch pretty much anything from them and so um, I pretty much killed the, the best growth for my channel by being too random on my videos and not niche specific which in, in the other case um, Ray Gloom Creepy Pasta that I, my channel is very niche specific I do only oh hey pillager I do only one type of video on it and nothing else and that was what allows it to grow bigger gonna miss me nope you didn't I stopped running too soon Where's the banner carrier? Nope, that's not him. Oh, maybe they didn't have one. Anyways, so a Stinger Productions, yeah, that's the reason why it's not growing more, it's because I'm not niche specific and I still am not. If I wanted to become very niche specific and make it grow, I know pretty much everyone coming to my channel is coming from the tutorials. So technically Stinger Productions should be a tutorial only channel. And it would do better if I did, you know, more long, engaging tutorials. The reason I haven't is because Singer Productions just was never meant to get really big. I never had any intent of making it massive and stuff. It's I do here what I want to do, what I enjoy doing. I have other channels like Ray Savage and my Ray Gloom Creepypasta, which I can do my other stuff on that where I'm specific, and those are the ones that grow. But um, and singer productions, you know, I don't really intend to ch change my process. On here, I will still continue to do tutorials in there, machimas here and there, full-length movies. Some of you might have noticed that I've started filming my Undead City 4. I'm hoping that it'll be more epic than even the past ones. And there's some unusual things that are going to happen, and it'll make it kind of fun. I don't really need my dirt up there anymore, do I? I'm not going to be going on the roof anymore. I think it's time to remove the dirt. Time to get this dirt out of here. Yep, done with the roofing. Okay, let's go do the upstairs windows. Okay. Now sometimes I will leave these open and then fill in here and make it three separate panels. But in this case, I think I'd enjoy the open window best. I might have said this before, maybe some of you know it. One technique to building a house in a place where lots of people make mistakes is the windows area. Um, one of the worst things you can do is put in too many windows. It, it doesn't make it look good. A good looking house doesn't have too many windows. And a lot of houses in real life, lots of times even one side of the house won't have a single window. Which is true in the house that I grew up in. Uh, one of the walls, one of the sides of the house didn't have a single window. So in real, and so in Minecraft, you know, want to make a house look good. One technique: don't have too many windows. Oops. Jet Ison, the graphics are incredible. Yeah, they are. Pretty cool. Of course, I can't take credit for the graphics. Only the fact that I have a computer that can run it, which took me a long time to get. To be honest, it took me a long time to be able to get to the point where I could actually afford it. It was not a simple thing for me. <laughs> I waited 10 years before I'd actually got a good one. Technology changed a lot in that time, too. Well, that's life. And you know what? I was just I, I had just as much fun with a computer that wasn't super fast. And I'll tell you something else. Getting a really fast computer doesn't make me any happier. It allows me to do more, sure, but you know that's not what make ha make, that's not what happiness is. If you're not happy with a slow computer, you won't be happy with a fast one. Do I need to fill all these in? Yes, I do. These all need to be windows. <laughs> Oops. Now 
now I gotta decide where we want windows in here. I think that the staircase should not have any bearing windows, so I'm gonna fill it in completely from where the staircase stands. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. Look at the logs. That look cool. The sunset. Well, let's take the easy way. Ugh. Go to bed. Ah, beautiful. I wonder if once the new update comes out, the 1.18 update, if maybe I shouldn't stop this series, keep it going since I'll still have Optifine and can use these awesome textures, but then the 1.18 update do on Ray Savage, my Ray Savage channel instead. I stream two different places, that way they don't get in each other's way. And that way I could keep this world. At least for a little bit until the season ends. Uh, what was up to? Oh yes, Windows. Bebo Monem, are my chats not showing up? Oh, they're showing up. I can see your chats. However, gosh, it's it's really hard for me to look at chats and not you know do Minecraft at the same time. I have to go back and forth, and I forget what I'm doing. Let's see, Stingray. Please look at my other comment. Okay, let me see if I can't. Chaotic, 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 chaotic. Uh, Stinger, would you like a small tip to help you find structures in your world? Well, of course. Who doesn't want a good tip? Of course I do. Yeah, let me know. You got a good tip. Are you, Stingray, are you Team Sword or Team Anax? Um, if that's asking what do I prefer, swords to axes... Um, for the most part, I actually prefer swords. Um, but the reason I'm not using a sword now is because I'm not in, you know, my fighting mode. You know, I'm not going out killing things, and so it's less inventory if I just use my axe. That's the only reason why. Okay, so... What do I do on the sides? One, two, three, four... One, two, three... Let's make them both threes. And should I actually no? Let's let's do like this, and we'll make it three instead. Aha! The power of <laughs> not being perpendicular, or or making or you know matching. One of the funnest things about Minecraft is just building stuff and not trying to match things up exactly, and then just finding a way to make it work. That's a that's a lot of fun. Go fill in the other side and eat some more bread. Okay, so there's the staircase, which means that this area is the bedroom. And I'm going to decide the bed will probably be against this wall, so that would mean. And I actually don't want a whole lot of windows on this wall. Probably come all the way over here. And the only windows will be up high. Do begging for subscribers help? They most certainly do not. <laughs> the best way to get subscribers is to let them describe themselves. The, the worst thing you can do if you want a channel to grow is try to just get subscribers. It actually, in the long run, will hurt your channel. You don't want subscribers. You want the right subscribers. You want the right people who actually want to come watch your content. If people are just subscribing just to build up your subscribers, they're not going to watch. But YouTube will send them the notifications, and then when they don't click on it, YouTube will say, okay, your video performed less because they're less interested, and then they'll send it to a few of your subscribers. You do not want just to have more subscribers. You only want the right subscribers. So me personally, that's the reason I don't ask for subscribers, because I don't want just anybody. I want people who actually want to be here. You know, that's the best way to do it. Uh, oh, i got to decide where the wall's going to come. Right 
right here. Maybe I'll make a couple of rooms. Okay, that's one room, that's one room. This will actually be another room. Okay. Put the door right here. That'll push the staircase into the back. Make it less likely for you to fall off. Oops, didn't mean to pull you out. Stingray, please look up the chat. I said twice how to found structures. Oh gosh, I'm, I'm having a hard time with this chat, aren't I? Um, let me go look. Chaotic, 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 chaotic. You should also make two different channels, one for survival and one second for tutorials. That's a good suggestion, actually. See, that's being more specific. That's a, that's a smart move to do. I used to listen to your potion tutorials. I love them all. Thanks. Oh, thank you. Stingary, why don't you have more subs? Of course, we answered that. Is that all? I think that's all. Okay, I think I went back and saw all of them. Views are dumb, and I got hundreds of identify four subscribers without begging. <laughs> well, if you just get them the normal way, then that's the right way. And, oops, why did I do that? And guess what? My dumb videos when I first started out were pretty dumb. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's were as dumb as mine. And that's good. So I learned. That's how I learned how to do better videos. And then I got much better, and now I'm doing, well, much better. <laughs> It's better to do dumb videos than not do any at all. Because that's the only way to get to the point where you're doing better. The only way. That's interesting. The slabs together make crates. Let's see, there. where's the, the doors right there? Okay, fill that in. That's one. Yeah, if people ever have questions about growing YouTube channel, you know, feel free to ask. I don't want to lie and say that I'm super awesome and I know everything, because that's not true. But I have learned quite a bit. And I can tell you quite a bit about how to grow a channel. Okay, where should the door be? It should be in the corner. Unless... No, no. If you're going to put the bed on this wall, then you want the door to be here. You should want it to be away from the bedroom, the, where the bed goes. Okay, those are where the two will go. The bed will eventually go here. Let's fill in here. It'll probably go right there, so this will be the only window on this wall in this bedroom. There. Now I can finish filling in this one. Oh, I need more, don't I? Sometimes, oops, sometimes you just don't know what videos are going to perform well. YouTube algorithm is a fun thing, and it's always changing. That's why, t you know, today's tips might not be tomorrow's tips. Things are changing. It's uh, that's business right there. You know, just described a bit the business world. Always changing. You know, always have to change and adapt. Okay. Well, this one's all walled off. That actually looks kind of cool, doesn't it? What kind of window should this be? I think it should be. Yep. Jet Ison has a good tip about Silk Touch on Amethyst Crystals. Wow. Yeah. That's what I should do if I ever get to that point. Let's go upstairs. Caldeck PG3D, am I muted? You shouldn't be. I, I'm still seeing your comments. Um, doesn't mean I'm fast enough at reading all of them. How to find structures. You know, I can't find a com your comment where you tell me how to find structures. Teach me a lot of things. I don't know, does does the chat have something that blocks 
comments, you know, certain types of words every now and then. I'm not the most experienced with um, with streams. I would consider myself very, very new. Stingray, do you have a Discord? I do. On my home page of my channel, one of the links up top is the Discord where you can go be part of my Discord server, or you can just chat to me personally. Okay, let's see. What was it? Oh yeah, I was going to decide if this is going to be rooms or an attic. If it's an attic, you don't really want to have any rooms. If it's going to be bedrooms, then you do. I could fill these in right here, but I kind of like it open as an attic. However, it kind of looks funny with this being right here, but there's this window right here. Do I do fences? Nah. Let's do it like this. Oops. Then I'll put carpet on them to make it look cool. Or you can do slabs so that carpet looks better. And then I'll fill this in. I'll just greeble it to make it look like a cool attic. Nope. Oh, I heard a villager downstairs going invisible. He's telling me that it's going to be time for bed here. Before I do, though, let me light up this place. I already did the upstairs, right? I lit it up pretty good. Uh, I could use a bit. Yeah, every now and then YouTube thinks spamming is spamming when it isn't. It's That's a, quite a system. Stingray sent you a DM. My name is I Eat Cheddar. Okay, next time I'm on Discord, I'll know who, who you are. And then we can start talking. Hello. Ah, uh, let's go to bed. Hello, zombie. Punch. There are monsters nearby. Oh, no! Should I go back to my storage facility? Oh, he climbed up. How about that? A zombie climbed up the ladder. Let's go... Oh, that's the wrong way. Let's just go upstairs. Chaotic PG3D sent you a tip about finding easier structures. Oh, good. And I will go read it when I after I'm done with the stream. Uh, can you read my comment? Not this one. It's up. Let me go see. That's why I'm making short, dumb videos. Uh, but somehow I'm just more successfully with making videos with my phone. Okay. Stinger. Yeah. If 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 that's where your success is, then that's what's working. My biggest problem is my net is bad. I, I cannot, can't upload the videos because they take too much time and going live. Ooh, when I start live, just lagging 2 or 3 FPS. Yeah, well, the place where I used to live a while back had very slow internet. And I, obviously streaming was impossible. And so what I did is I'd create like a series of videos, like do four of them, then upload all four overnight. And they'd finish overnight, but during the day it would take all day. That's the whole idea is they'd take all night, but I'd be asleep for it. And that's just how I adjusted to it. Um, oh yeah, we're gonna go back, weren't we? What do I have? Do we have wheat in this chest over here? I should go see if it's cow feeding time. Okay, it's cow feeding time. Hello, cows. Uh, I can't see hearts with shaders on, can we? Make sure everyone gets to eat. Eat up. Food currently is plentiful. Yeah, doesn't matter which you use to upload videos, phone or PC, just they both upload, just whatever works best. Uh, 
Watch out, cows. Stinger, it's 1 a.m. and I will stay up all night watching your stream. But don't feel like you have to. If you need to go to bed, I understand. I myself am kind of, uh, not, I'm not very good at staying up late. I, I enjoy my sleep. When it's sleep time, I like to go to sleep. So if I were to add on to this house, this side which goes into the hill would be best, not away, because that's the one you want to leave open for a sweeping vista. So I'm not going to have any windows right here, just in case that someday in the future I want to make the house bigger. And here I will add only one strip, just so I have the ability to see out there, and that's it. So pretty much no windows on that side. Which also means I probably won't want any windows right here because that's the spot I would add on. So no windows here. Just gonna fill in this whole thing right here. Okay. Of course this is the front porch. And then right here. The kitchen would probably be right about here. I want to have a good vista there. Um, probably then make this so the, the kitchen would be right under here and then I could leave this open so only windows right here okay those are the only windows that are going to be on that side of the house this on the other hand is going to be pretty cool let's see yep that's it the rest of it's going to be windows the one side of the house that gets a, a wonderful window Especially since this is the side of the house where the sun is, so it comes in the house and it looks the prettiest. Oops. Aha. Uh -huh. oh. That's what he said. Uh huh. He's probably telling me how to do my house. Hey, hey, I can do this myself. I know what I'm doing. Um, let's see. Gosh, it just feels like it's too big to turn into all windows. What if I did that? Yeah, yeah, sure. crafting table. Need more glass. Doc Hoffman, can you apply to my last comment? Let's go see where it was. Would you use my netherite mining strategy on this world? I would if I got to it. Of course, I'm not going to be there for a while, but I do like the your mining strategy for finding netherite. Ancient debris. So yeah, I probably would. If, if I get to it on this world, yeah, I'll probably use it. Cabby, I'm going to sleep now. Okay, goodbye. I'm glad to have you there. Let's see. Um, where else do I... Did we just finish the exterior of this house? Has it actually happened with me not really paying attention? Yeah, the exterior is all done. At least for now. I mean, I might add on to the house, but we shall see. Now, do I create rooms or do I go open concept? Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm going to go open concept. Okay. There. I only do one more. 
and then slabs. Okay, let's try out the staircase. Just a nice functional staircase. What should you be? Let's do what we're going to do upstairs. I'm going to end up putting carpet on you. Which means that you need to come up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, I'll just... I'll make it a V. Or actually, no, it'll look cool like this. They have these in houses, real, real houses. I don't know what those kind of windows are called. They're circular kind. That's what we got. And this comes up here. Of course, it'll have carpet as well. Then it'll be open, and it'll just be the attic. Okay. Bio Mona, we gotta go. Bye. Oh, okay. Bye bye. Glad to have you here. got a visitor already. Let's go look at our house as it looks right now. Hey, that doesn't look too bad, does it? <laughs> I still got to put in the basement. How about that? A house that sits in the air. Well, sort of. It's not too bad. Is your computer okay with this graphic abuse? <laughs> you know, my computer is actually not running at max. My processor is overkill. My processor is doing just fine. It's mostly the graphics card. And it's running fairly high, but it's not going overboard, and I'm not overclocking either. I'm the kind of person that doesn't like to overclock things. I would rather have things last a long time. So that's not even overclocking. I hit F3. Yeah, the FPS is pretty good up there. You can look. 4329, whatever. That should tell you also what I've got. Yeah, there's, see, AMD Ryzen 3900X processor and then the RTX 2080 Ti graphics card. Well. Oh my gosh, I can barely even see the path with this texture pack. This is going to be pretty hard. Stinger, how to crash a computer in under five minutes. <laughs> you want to know how you do it? Patrick's has even higher graphics. So this resolution is 128. If you go to his highest one, what is it? I actually don't remember. Whatever his highest one, and try it, apparently that's what it'll do. It'll crash it. Of course, I haven't downloaded it, so I won't be able to do that. Maybe someday I should load it, load it up and see how long my computer will last before it crashes. <laughs> Because it says even the highest end computers will eventually crash. And mine's pretty darn high end, but it's not the highest end. Okay, it's already about bedtime. Out of my own hot bars. Maybe you can do a race video. So you can vote who most likely win. <laughs> That's actually a pretty unique idea. Kind of fun. I'm wondering if I should stream some tutorials, like people can watch me as I'm building in creative, like a modern house or something. And they can interact with me real time, so they can ask why I do certain things. Even. Let's see, do I have cobblestones? Yes, I do. This way, and they can come here. But see, this is going to be a property, a yard. So there's actually going to be. I'm going to harvest bushes, and I'm going to bring them across and come over here. And there's going to be an entryway. And since I've already used up a bit of space, I'm going to have to have it come over to get out of the way. Okay. I should 
do a, a collab with Steveler and make a build together. Ah, uh, Steveler, Steveler. I'm not very smart at knowing a lot of other YouTubers and stuff for Steveler. Let me look up Steveler. Minecraft Steveler. Oh wow. <laughs> I'm looking at Steveler right now. Have any of you guys look at Steveler? Now there's someone who knows what he's doing. If we did a build tutorial, I think I would just be sitting on the sidelines with my jaw dropped and saying, "Oh, okay." <laughs> I'm I'm not I'm not as good as you. I'll just watch. <laughs> yeah, boy. How many is he, Yeah, he's doing Yeah, see, he's niche specific. And so his videos are getting more views per video as he publishes them because he's smart about that. And of course, he's really good and unique. And and he's even his tutorials are or, or his thumbnails are kind of filling a niche specific purpose. They're very similar, and so that's called conditioning, um, where you condition your subscribers to get adjust used to the thumbnails you publish. So when they see that thumbnail, they're used to that style, and they already know they're going to like it. So they automatically just click the thumbnail. He's really underrated like you. You know, I agree. He does look very underrated, but he's growing. And looking at uh, the view counts on some of these and where they're performing, he's going to he's going to grow. He'll get to where he belongs. Not like me. I, my, my channel probably won't increase in the, its growth. In, in fact, if anything, it's probably going to slowly start to die out. Sting Productions. The only way it could survive is if I get really niche specific and make better videos. Yeah, Stinger Productions isn't likely to get really big really fast anytime soon. And that's okay. Doesn't have to. Okay. Yeah, let's just have it come straight across. Why not? And to make it look more epic, we're going to use slabs instead of stairs. If you're building pathways on a server and you intend for horses to ride up them, highly suggest you use slabs instead of stairs. Horses on servers do not like stairs. Use slabs. Bedrock Gang. Gosh, you know, there's really a lot I don't know. <laughs> I need to look a lot of these things up. I feel like I'm doing this slower, not just because I'm trying to interact with the chat comments as well, but just because it's a texture pack that I'm not particularly used to necessarily. And it's like I found myself slowing down just trying to figure out where am I. Okay. Wow. So this is all going to become part of the yard. And I have to decide if I want to level it out or not. Probably not entirely. Well. I know one thing. I'm gonna need end up needing more spruce wood. Let's go put some things away. Oh, oh! I forgot to replant. I'm a smart one, aren't I? Well, this looks pretty cool. It really looks like it's actually wet. Stinger, you should try a small survival world with the viewers. Now there's a smart comment right there. I haven't done that. I've actually been telling people I do want to start a server. Um, I used to have one a long time ago, but I stopped because yeah, I just, you know, I was, I'm poor and I wasn't making a whole lot of money. I'm making more money now, now that Raid Gloom is doing really well. Um, so I think I should be getting really close to the point where I should start a server. And if I'm you know, start doing better, I should do two servers. One that's Creepypasta, and one that's not, and it's just a survival world for you know, my subscribers to come join me in. That would be fun. And 
and not a realm. You know, I've only tried realms once, and I actually didn't much like them. I, I prefer to just go with a server host or kind of like server pro or somebody else. I prefer to do it that way, especially because then I have the option to... Um, oh, I need more seeds. Duh. Option to add plugins if I want to. Of course, it's been a long time since I've done realms. Someone might need to tell me, can you do data packs on Realm Worlds? Can you upload data packs? If you can't, then that's big oversight because data packs are like the, the answer to mods for people who don't want mod loaders. Art Immortals, your voice is kind of soothing. Oh, I've been told that by a lot of people. It's really interesting because, you, you know, you don't really hear yourself the way other people hear you. And I had no idea that other people thought my voice was soothing. I just talk the way I talk. You know, I don't know any different, right? Why do I keep doing this? Why do I get a few scenes and not more? This is what happens when you start talking and forget <laughs> about what you're doing. <laughs> Funny. Totally worth it, though. Okay, I don't think I'll need any more than this, right? If you made a server, I'd use my extra texture pack so much. <laughs> Well, I certainly couldn't stop you, that's for sure. My viewpoint is, is if people really want to do that, that's up to them. Um, because, you know, when you're playing survival and it's just a game, it's, I guess, you, it's what kind of play mode you prefer, you know? See, like, my, my preferred play mode is I like to be a part of the work and stuff I'm doing. And so, like, automatic farms that other people make, automatic wool farms and mob grinders and stuff, I never make them because that's not the game style I like. I enjoy the part, the process of harvesting. So, yeah, I, I enjoy the part of harvesting the wool myself. I prefer to go out and kill mobs versus having a mob grinder get them for me. I don't do any of the things. And that's I, I enjoy the work. I enjoy working for for gain, as it were. I don't like to be given things, handed things free. I like to work for stuff myself. Much more fulfilling and much more rewarding. Of course, now I'm speaking more about what I prefer in real life, but in Minecraft, that's the way I feel too. And maybe that's the reason why I don't really collab so much with other people. Um, one is because it can be hard if you don't have a server even, you know. It's hard, and you have so many moving parts, it's hard to coordinate. But the real reason is because every process is the part I enjoy. I enjoy making sets for my movies, I enjoy making the skins, I enjoy the filming, I enjoy the editing. And that's what I like. And does it get boring to me? Not necessarily, but there is... Uh, one important item to that, and that is, um, I don't actually really play Minecraft. If if I'm on the computer and I've got Minecraft upload upload you know running, I'm making a video. You know that's just the way it is. Like even now that I'm streaming, if I wasn't streaming, I wouldn't even be playing Minecraft, because I just I you know I I said this before. Once I started making videos, it was like you know there's ten times more fun than just playing Minecraft. And I just could never go back to just playing because I just prefer creating videos so much more. Can only sleep at night. What would happen if you stayed up all night in the morning and you're so tired? Well, guess what? You're forced to stay awake. Oh, now I'm going to sleep. Yeah, my suggestion to people who get bored in Minecraft and don't know what more to do, you know, it's a video game. And if you spend your life just playing video games, that's the way you're going to fulfill because you're not really fulfilling yourself. You're not accomplishing anything. It's okay, you know, to, to you know to play a little bit here and there, but you you need to be accomplishing things with your life and what you do. Is this Minecraft texture pack public? Well, anyone can get it if they pay for it. Go look up Patrick's. If you become a patron, then you can download it. Uh, is it possible to get it? by someone you, it's illegal, it really is illegal to re-upload this for other people to download that is illegal this is copyrighted content that someone made as an artist you cannot redistribute it 
Um, so really the only way to actually get it is by paying for it. Yeah. Anyway, so back to what I was talking about, being fulfilled. That's the way I feel with video games. Video games, you know, I just I don't enjoy the feeling of wasting my time. I, I do all this stuff and in, in the end it's all virtual reality. I need to, to use it in a way that's actually constructive, like making YouTube videos. You know? Because I, I, that way I do feel fulfilled. That's the way I feel like to other people, you know, if they feel like they're not being fulfilled, you know, it's because it's you're not. You're playing a virtual reality game. You're not actually accomplishing anything. You, you can say things while I'm, you know, I'm, I'm learning. I'm increasing my skill set. Maybe, I guess. I'm not going to say I'm super smart and I know everything about that. I just really feel like you need to use it in some way to actually be productive. To me, a video game is more successful if you use it kind of like a studio. Like, that's why I use Minecraft for. To me, Minecraft is not a game. To me, Minecraft is an operating studio platform that allows me to make sets so I can make videos, so I can tell stories, so I can teach people, and I can use it to make friends as well, I guess, but... Yeah, so... Uh, oh yeah, I was just forgetting what I was about to do. You know, I say that as I'm about to get back to playing Minecraft. <laughs> that doesn't make me sound like a hypocrite. <laughs> I think the best thing to say is, honestly, I am somewhat hypocrite, uh, I'm a hypocrite, and I don't say it like it's a good thing to be a hypocrite, but I acknowledge the fact that I have imperfections. But, like I said before, if I weren't streaming, I wouldn't even be playing in the first place. Oh no, cow! Ah! He says, all right, I'm out of here. Maybe he knows what's going to happen to him. Knows I'm going... This is a cattle farm. Ah, there we go. How do you find this pack again? Just go Google search Patrick's. I'm sure it'll come up. You can find it on Planet Minecraft. Or you, you basically you just want to get to Patrick's Patreon page. That's where you get it. And he has posts there. And each time he posts, he always adds in the late, the link to the downloads again. So you, if you go to the latest post, you always get the most up-to-date pack. And this pack is actually... I think this is actually the most updated pack. I actually think I got this a little while ago. Went and downloaded again since I'm one of his patrons. And it has uh, some of the new texture updates for 117. Can I show you how this world looks without the shaders and texture pack for a bit? I'm sure I could. Options, resource packs. Haha, -ha. look, there's my half-eaten sheep. There's a green screen texture pack I downloaded a while back. I haven't used that in more than a year. I should probably just delete it. I'm not going to use it. Let's get rid of these texture packs. Okay, and then let's get rid of the shaders. And when I switch shaders, I always go to the internal because it switches quicker. Here's a little trick if you're loading shaders. Um, it actually, if you go off, it actually unloads all the shaders, where if you go internal, it just unloads that particular shader and switches for another. I always switch to internal so that it, it can switch back and forth quick. Yeah, look, here's some of the shaders I have currently. Actually, I don't even know if some of these work. I put them up here and tested them. They might not even work. I might have to try them. Oh my goodness, look how smooth it is. <laughs> this is different. Well, now that I've done that, I can actually go like this. Whoa! 64! Now there's something that requires a good processor and RAM. Oh, a zombie spawned inside. There are times when I prefer Minecraft without shaders and stuff. I just feel like it's so much easier to see things and move around. Are there any free packs? Oh, did I go to that desert temple yet? I probably did, I'm not sure. 
Um, there are some free ray tracing packs. The, th this is, you know, an RTX ray tracing pack, and the typical thing with them they do is um, you have to pay for them. Except the lowest resolution maybe will be free, like the the the, the uh, 32 bit, while the rest you have to pay for. There are a few out there that are free, and they look good from the screenshots. But I've tried them, and they're actually not that good. They're all they're only okay. If you just go to Planet Minecraft and look at texture packs. That's the best place to go find some that are free, and you just have to go looking through them. And some are free, and some are not. I don't, I can't think of any that are good and also free. The, um, I just, no, I can't think of any. But um, my favorite, of course, I've looked at lots of different RTX texture packs, and as far as one that looks good and it has good performance at the same time, but if they've done most of the textures, Patrick's is number one. And I just saw a creepy pasta. Oh no, I think it was, oh, I don't think it was. I think it was the torch, the torch smoke. I honestly thought I saw something moving out there. Unless it was you, Enderman. But he went from there maybe to here? I'll have to go look at the playback again and see if that was him. For a moment there, I thought I was having an, a real life, an actual Minecraft creepypasta moment. I should try a stream creepypasta sometime. <laughs> Even my computer's starting to act funny now. Gosh, it actually feels pretty good. Just running around without cheaters and textures. I can actually see what I'm doing. I need to chop down some of those trees. Acacia. Sand. Let's go buy the chicken coop. Stinger, I don't know how to download the Luma Shader. Hmm. And can you stop by a chicken coop? Okay, I'm going to do both. I'm going to stop by a chicken coop, and then I'm going to look at that shader and see if there's something weird going on with it. Okay, where's Luma? Project Lumina. Oh, I sh you should be able to download it. If you go to that link, I'll send it again. Project Luma. Or is it Luma? Project Luma. There's the link. And you can go there. And if you just click, there's a, you says Project Luma Shader Pack. And right underneath it says Description Files Relations. You can just click on Files. And they're just right there. And down at the bottom, there's just it says Actions. And there's an orange download button. Just click on it. And then you can download it. And you're going your way. And that's how you download it. And you go put it in your Shader Pack folder. Hope that helped. Oh, anyways, here's my chicken coop. But what am I doing here at my chicken coop? Hello, chickens. Can you tell me what I'm doing here? By the way, I don't think I'll be streaming for much longer. Um, I've got other things i got to do today. So, yeah, I probably won't be streaming for much longer. And besides, um, my internet kind of has this arc where in the big early part of the day my internet is really fast and amazing and as I get towards the afternoon and then towards the evening it starts to slow down and then it becomes hard to stream so I don't really stream in any evenings from where I live you know I live in the United States oh there's the Enderman again is he really just a regular Enderman or is he a special one as long as I don't look at him right well, let's go look at the house. I'm really new to this. How do I export the file of Minecraft? Well, the nice thing is... Oh, a llama died here. Oh my gosh, this like really is a creepypasta. The Enderman, which I thought was out there. I looked like a ghost almost. Coming here, and suddenly a llama is dead. This is like a real-life creepypasta. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Let's see. How do you export the shader? Well, the lucky thing is you don't actually have to do any exporting. You just download it and it's ready to go. And this is how I get my shaders. I go Escape, Options, Resource Pack, and then I do Open Pack Folder. And if I were to click this, you wouldn't see it because my screen recorder wouldn't show it. But it would open up your Resource Pack Folder. Just go up one, and then there'll be another folder that says Shaders. Just go into that folder and copy and paste 
or cut and paste your shader into that folder and that's how you do it. I always do that. It's just the fastest way to get to your Minecraft directory. I just go open resource pack folder and then you're you're good. Um, hope I explained that well. <laughs> yeah, my, I have a feeling my house... Yeah, he probably did just suffocate. But it's kind of fun thinking of it as an actual repeat repasta. But then again, why did he suffocate? Why? Why did he suffocate? Almost nighttime. I'm getting a little worried here. And it's time to feed my cows. Actually, I haven't fed my chickens in a long time. Do you have chicken feed? Yes, you do. Chickens! Gosh, look at this. I'm suddenly doing things faster. I can do things so much faster in Minecraft when I don't have texture packs or a shader. Lots of times I actually prefer to just play without any texture packs or resource packs. I think it actually sometimes is my favorite way to play. Isn't that funny? It's just so much easier to do things. For me, the 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 place where I really like to use texture packs and shaders is not in gameplay. It's in movie making. That that's where I like it the best. The reason I'm doing it now for this uh, stream is so that uh, people can actually see it in a survival setting because you don't see that very often. Only so many people have a computer that can actually run it. For the longest time, I didn't have a computer like that. You know, I'm just going to go give this all to the cows. Imagine if the Enderman was choking the llama. <laughs> when I turned my back! I shouldn't have turned my back on the Enderman. And would I attack the Enderman? Now I'm not so sure I want to even attack the Enderman. He might be more than just an Enderman that just teleports and attacks me. Maybe he has some special powers. Okay. Time to eat cows. Since I'm not on a server, and I don't have anyone to annoy by having too many animals, um, I like to get my cows to the point where... Um, I can feed them a full stack of 64 wheat quickly. And then all I have to do is remember, after I feed them, go kill 32 cows, and then I'm done. I can move on. And then come back, give them a full stack of 64, and when it's gone, go kill 32 cows and go on. And I'll never run out of cows. But also, you can tell Enderman was there. Um, I like to use looting 3 on a sword when I get to that to get more leather and meat from them when I harvest them like that. I just thought of a good video to stream, but then it wouldn't be on this channel. I'd have to do it on my Ray Gloom channel. I could do like, um, oh, this would be kind of fun. Okay, I, I just got an idea of something I need to do in the future with you guys. Um, we need to, I need to set up a server, then I'll be in survival, and then have like some of you guys come into the world, but you'll all be all being creative, and you'll all be invisible, okay? And then your job is to just haunt me, and I have to survive the world by being haunted. That's a really fun idea. I should do it sometime. I'll have to figure it out, and I might have to go to an older version of Minecraft just so I can use mods. But it'd be kind of fun, you know, Minecraft, but it's always haunted. I bet someone's already made a video on that, but I'm not sure. Well, I'm going to go do one more thing, and then I think I'll actually be done with the stream. Sorry to end it, guys, but, you know, like I said, i got other things to do. I forget if I went to that pyramid. I'm going to go check it out. Oh yeah, I've been here. Okay, I've already been here. I just couldn't remember. Well, someday I'm going to connect this to my property and I'm going to really retrofit it. It's going to be an awesome sand pyramid palace thing. 
Okay, well, let's go home and this will be the end of it, I guess. Except, let me put my render distance back down for when I end up loading the texture packs and shaders again in the future. Tack Othman, why do you make dream funny videos? Really? Just because they make me laugh. <laughs> why about dream? Because he's popular and famous, and so I think other people would enjoy it. You know, finding common ground. Um, but also, I, I make them just because they're f fun to make and they're fun to watch. <laughs> okay, um, I think. Well, no, that house is haunted. I'm not going back there yet. Maybe when I actually don't come back in, it won't be haunted anymore. I'll go up to my storage facility, and that'll be the end. Hey, Stingray, it says, do you want to add falling packs to Minecraft shaders? I click yes, but then it just disappears. By the way, I only drag the shaders folder. Well, you drag it into the shaders folder, then... Oh! But you have to have Optifine. Did I even say that? You have to have Optifine to do shaders. And all you have to do is search Optifine. When you find it, just download it, and it'll run an installer and automatically install it. And for the Minecraft launcher, from there, though, you have to select the launcher that says Optifine. This sounds like it needs a, its own tutorial, doesn't it? It's kind of hard to explain it where I can't show you visually. But then, after that, you just go Escape, Options, Video settings, shaders, and if it's in the shaders folder, then it'll appear here, and you just click on it and load it. Nope, you didn't say that. Yep, yep. Well, I forgot that, didn't I? Okay, well, that's how you do that. Well, guys, I think this is the end, but if you have questions you still want to ask from the video or anything we discussed, once the stream ends, you can ask in the comments, and I think this is the end, so here we go. This stream is going to end.